Hello, and welcome to another edition of the book review blog. I am your book reviewer, and today we're going to review the book Thinner. Um, originally, this was written as Richard Bachman as the last book that I was doing, or the four novellas that I was doing as part of the Bachman books. Um, but it was written by Stephen King, so... Um, this thinner book is about a man named Billy Halleck, and he's about, you know, like, late 30s, I'd say about 40, um, and at the start of the book, he's very fat, or he's, like, maybe, like, 250, let's say. I mean, he's not, like, huge, but, um, because he's about six feet tall, so, but he could stand to lose a little weight, and, um, before the book started, um, he and his wife were driving um, down a street, and his wife was doing something um, to him, and which made him um, not, or made him not pay attention to the road very well. And a gypsy woman had just walked. She didn't like walk through like a crosswalk. She walked in between two cars, and he ended up hitting her, and um, and killing her. And this gypsy woman's father had put a curse on Billy um, because, like, Billy was, um, I don't know if he was actually, like, tried exactly. Like, they just kind of, um, um, he, like, Billy is a lawyer, so he has friends um, in kind of the law profession because he had a friend who was, like, his judge um, for this trial, and he had another friend who... Um, was also part of this whole trial, and they just kind of, like, wiped it off as just, like, a slap, like, a slap on the wrist. I don't even think he got really anything. I don't think he got any, like, probation or anything for this. But, um, and this, um, this gypsy woman's father, uh, obviously felt that injustice was served, and so he, um, put a curse on Billy where he wiped, or he, like, put his hand on his chin, or his cheek, and said the word thinner. And, um, Billy was, like, initially kind of, like, creeped out about that, because, like, this gypsy man was just very gross and just looking very strangely. So, um, and having anybody strange like that, you know, wipe his, or put his hand on any part of your body is kind of strange in a way. So, um, but then Billy is starting to realize that he is losing weight. And um, the most of the chapters in this book are, have started with numbers. Um, like the first chapter in the book is um, just named 246. So, I mean, that's what Billy's weight is. And he has already started to lose weight. So say like when this happened... Billy was about 250. Um, and so he um, lives with his wife, Heidi, and and they have a daughter named Linda, who is, I believe, like 13, let's say. Um, and so he goes on with his life, and he, but he's realizing, again, that he's losing weight without dieting, without exercising, and... And he's losing quite a bit of weight. Like, instead of maybe, like, one pound a week, he's losing, like, six. And so, um, finally, you know, like, his wife is noticing this and says, well, you have to go see a doctor. Because she's afraid. She wasn't there when this gypsy did, you know, put his curse on Billy. So she's thinking that, like, he's sick. Like, he has cancer or something. So he goes to this doctor and he's like, well... I, like, we run tests, and I can't find anything wrong with you. You're, you know, just kind of blessed, I guess. And Billy's like, well, yeah, I'm blessed. Because, I mean, obviously, he knows why he's losing weight, and he knows what's happening. So, um, so again, he continues to lose weight because there's really nothing he can do. And he goes to see the judge who, you know, just gave him, like, a slap on the wrist. And he realizes that the judge was also cursed by uh, this gypsy. And I believe the judge, um, instead of the gypsy saying thinner, I believe the judge or the gypsy said lizard or something, 
where the judge all of a sudden gets like scales on his body and in big like splotches where it grows and grows. Um, so that was kind of gross. But, um, and then there was another one where the other guy who, I don't remember what his job was, um, for this court, but, uh, he, um, also was cursed by the gypsy, and he, I don't know what he said, like, something like acne or something, because, um, he all of a sudden just got a huge amount of acne on his face, and it was like every part of his face had acne on it, so, um, so again, that was kind of gross, so there are kind of gross parts in this, um, and so, Eventually, Billy realizes that he has got to find these gypsies uh, who, you know, kind of lead nomadic lives or they just go from campsite to campsite because um, eventually the townspeople in their city, um, you know, are tired of them and they kind of run them out of town. But uh, so eventually, again, he kind of hops along um, New England and he is like, short on their tail, but eventually he does catch up with them, and, um, it's where he pleads with the gypsy, um, guy who put the curse on him that, um, to take it off, and the gypsy's like, no, I won't take it off, no, I can't take it off, um, and you have to stay like this for what you did, and, um, so Billy gets, uh, in touch with a friend of his, whose name is Richard uh, Ginelli, and Richard is, um, like, he works in as, as part of a restaurant chain, but he's very, like, he's a mafia guy, like, um, where he has definite ties to the mafia, and so Richard starts to use his powers, I guess, for the mafia, and to, um, like, lessen, like, the gypsies strain on them, and see, like, Maybe if he, um, messes with, like, the gypsies, um, or, like, he, like, kills their dogs and he, um, like, kidnaps one of, another one of them and just kind of, like, really roughhouses them and just sends them on their way. Just, you know, just kind of, like, not exactly mob stuff, exactly, like, he's not killing anybody, he's killing dogs, but he's not killing anybody, but just kind of roughing them up. And, uh... But still, it doesn't work, and where the gypsy doesn't give up his curse, and um, and along with that, Billy is realizing that this is not his fault that he hit the lady. This is not the lady's fault that he that she was walking in between two cars. It is his wife Heidi's fault because. Heidi was, basically, she was pleasuring him in the car, and, um, so, um, so that was, like, so basically, like, well, if you weren't doing that, if you hadn't chosen that day to do this, um, then I would have been able to watch the road a little bit, and if, when she would have walked through two cars, I would have, you know, honked, or I would have stopped and honked and, you know, ye yelled at her, but she would have still been alive. Um, so then he, so he's really starting to feel resentment towards Heidi and eventually he does meet up with the gypsy again and the gypsy does give him something to release the curse, but he gives him a, uh, thing of, uh, strawberry pie and he said, okay, but you can't eat this. Somebody else has to eat it. And, but when somebody else eats this, then your curse will be uh, lifted. And, but he doesn't say what happens to the person, whoever eats it. So um, he just, Billy decides to give it to his wife. And that's kind of where the book ends. Um, again, you don't really know what happens to Billy's wife. And it ends up that his daughter has some too. And you don't really know what happens to them. So, um, but anyway, that's where the book ends. Again, kind of like the Bachman books, it was a little darker than um, most Stephen King books. It wasn't exactly scary, I would say, but it was very dark um, and things like that. Uh, the next book I'm going to read by Stephen King is another book of short stories, and it's called Skeleton Crew. And unfortunately, I don't have the book myself, so I loaned it from the library to go on my Kindle. So um, I'll be reading it that way. 
And that's it. And I bid you all farewell and happy reading.